This is an ion thruster. It produces wind with no moving parts, is powered by 50,000 volts, and uses the same technology that powered MIT's ion plane a few years ago. But you must be wondering, how does it work? Let me explain. Let's place two electrodes, one positive and one negative, with a voltage difference of 50,000 volts. Let's also add a neutral air molecule, shown in blue. This molecule gets pushed towards the positive electrode by neutral air currents. Once the air molecule gets close enough to the positive electrode, it gets ionized, which means an electron gets attracted to the high positive charge and rips itself out of that molecule. The air molecule is now positive, and since opposite charges attract, it moves towards the negative electrode. The sea of positive ions is called plasma and can be observed as a purple glow flowing from the positive to negative electrode. On most thrusters, the positive electrodes are thin wires, while the negative electrodes are tubes. This promotes ionization at the positive electrodes and discourages it at the negative ones. We have to remember that this is happening in the atmosphere, so there's plenty of other air molecules. Let's draw another one. The positive ions eventually collide with neutral air molecules, pushing them past the negative electrode. In the air around us, there are more than just two air molecules. Let's draw a few more. All of these collisions result in a bunch of neutral air molecules getting pushed past the negative electrode. This is what we call ionic wind, and it can be used to propel aircraft in a sustainable manner, which is very important to this planet's future.